and welcome to Paint Night. My name is Crystal, and I'll be your artist, Strap Destructor, for tonight. Who has never been to Paint Night? No worries. You're in a safe place here. Even if you haven't painted since high school, elementary school, or since you were a child with your little fingers, it's the place to be right now. I only have two rules. Rule number one, have fun. Relax. Do what you want to do. There is freedom all around here. Rule two, no negativity. You don't need to be negative towards yourself or anyone else around you. Besides for that, let's get started. Earlier today, I did ask you to put different paints onto a page. Or actually, sorry, a plate. If these are colors you're not happy with, you are free to grab any of the colors over there and choose what you feel. If you do not want to paint this painting, you do not have to paint this painting. You can paint whatever you like. That's the whole choice of this painting. Paint night is just about having fun and relaxing. And also, remember, we do have a little bit of booze on our side, so you can really feel more free and more relaxed with yourself. That's all about having more fun. If you don't mind, please grab your large paintbrush. Get it really wet. Now grab your blue and your black and start pulling them together. This is going to be for your background. Keep adding more water to get a better consistency. When you're happy with the color and the consistency, start putting it onto your pen canvas. You're going to do it from left to right. When your paintbrush starts to get too dry, go back and add more paint. If you realize it's getting way too dry, add a little bit more water to your paintbrush, but always add the water back into your palette, never back onto the canvas. You're going to do this until your full canvas is covered. This is called a base coat. about making a mess. That's all the fun in it. When you're happy with the way it looks on the back, or if you're not, add some more color or dark. But if you're finally happy with your background, that's what it looks like to I'm happy, I'm gonna end. You keep going until you're satisfied. But when you are done, clean your brush. Now you're going to grab your medium sized brush to add in the moon. You're going to add in some more water into the white now. Don't worry about the background being moist, it's actually going to give a really nice effect. You're going to use the edge of your brush to get a beautiful curve. Make the shape you are satisfied with with the moon. As you can tell, it is blending together. And you're getting beautiful low and highlights naturally. The shape I'm getting is not exactly what I want, but no worries. I'm going to show you how to fix that. Keep adding a little bit more white until you're happy with the color for now. Don't worry, we're going to add still more highlights. In other words, white. That is a nice color key for now. I'm going to clean my brush, get off all that white, because now I'm going to show you how to fix the shape. You're going to go into your black 
You don't want it really wet, just a little bit wet. Go to the edge where you don't like the shape. Redraw it and pull out. You're going to do that exactly wherever you're not happy. And just pull out. And since the paint is still wet, you're able to blend it back into the canvas. If you're happy with that shape, now we're going to make the clouds. You're going to not even really clean your brush because the little bit of black you need. You're going to actually dab it a little bit actually on the paper towel to give it more of a white, a, sorry, a dry effect. This is called dry stuff. Because it's a little bit black on your brush with the white, it's going to actually help to give you a different tone up against the dark background. Dab it lightly at first. Just like that. Slowly start to drain it to blend it in. If you need a little bit more black, add a little bit more black. Or white. Start to lightly circle your brush. Kind of like in the shape of a cloud. You can even lightly pass the moon, just like clouds actually do. If your brush is getting too wet, dab it a little bit more on the canvas, just to get a dryer. When you're satisfied with your clouds, I'm now going to show you how to make some more highlights to get those stars in more detail. Once again, clean your brush. You're ready now grab your little brush. Add a little bit of water. You don't need your paint to be too wet yet. You would like it to be a little bit thicker because it adds, it's easier to actually add on layers when the paint is a little thicker. Since the paint is still wet, this will make it easier. You're going to lightly dab it. Uh -huh. 